right, so all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbula Magomedov, in the corner of Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. The Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note when you fight someone like that. So close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what going. has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib, the eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, our referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Do it. All right, so Sean O'Malley back for more here tonight. And let's see if he can do what he did his last time out, namely get off to a fast start. That has been something that John Crouch and the Sean O'Malley corner has prioritized. Now let's see if their student can follow suit. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Trying the flying knee there. All right, so there it is. First takedown of the fight, and on the first attempt, no less. Did you expect a little bit more resistance from the kickboxer there? A little bit, because he was so sure that he could defend these takedowns. That confidence came from the practice room. But once again, it's one thing to do it in practice, opposed to doing it under the lights. This wrestler is next level. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Just gotta be careful here. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. Dominic. 
dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions. But those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. And very effective with the ground and pound. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, to the mount. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Constantly a moving target. O'Malley's in half guard now. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> oh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Round two is next. Stop. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready from fight. the top position. Ready. Ready. All right, round two. Just doesn't seem to matter. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Takes his back now. Oh, well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sean O'Malley. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Under three to go round two. North-south, we'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. That was nice. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, he's got his back. Khabib's in half goal. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Getting the ball here. Back in full mass. This is where he wants to be. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Ground strikes continue to land. Marco Medoff's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is 
That's phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Settle down. Listen, you are taking way too much damage to the body, man. All right? Remember how we trained for this. All right, you're not protecting the body. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Effective use of the jab by Nermago Metal. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Nice straight punch. Big shot there to both The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a great fight. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Oh! Well, no denying that he blocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that was in the night. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Let's work. Let's go. Set up. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. He's got the single collar tie. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Sean O'Malley. That leg kick lands. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Becky. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Under 90 seconds to go. Big kick lands. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye. Oh! That'll do it! The beat the Muggle As many style points as you could produce. Whoa! What a fight! What a fight! With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nermago Bell.